Hello and welcome to another episode of It's Anything Can Happen Day. I'm currently standing at an overlook on Interstate 26 in Sam's Gap, about two miles on the Tennessee side of the North Carolina Tennessee state line. And we're heading towards North Carolina again to uh, look at a couple of campgrounds, maybe find a waterfall and some other pretty scenery. Who knows where we're gonna end up? We, we never know where we're gonna end up. But <clears throat> I thought I'd stop and start the video here at this overlook, which is, we're almost to the North Carolina state line. All the years that I've been going to North Carolina from Kingsport, Tennessee on I-26 there, I have never stopped at this overlook. So I thought, what the heck? Let's do it. And to be honest with you, I'm not completely overwhelmed. I mean, it's, it's nice, but there's one on this is on the southbound side there's another one on the northbound side hopefully if if we come back this way and it's not dark we'll check that one out and see if it's better but i mean it's all right but i don't know if it was worth all the trouble of building this huge overlook I and mean, look at all this space they have here how many people who's gonna have a hundred people here to fill up all this space for this overlook Oh, there's something, there's a alien hunters down in the parking lot too. Let's see if we can talk to them. Oh no, I missed the alien hunters. I wanted to talk to them. I, was, I should have talked to them when I had the chance. They got stuff on their decals on their vehicle saying alien hunters, area 51. I don't know if it's a, just a joke or if they're actual alien hunters. Oh well, I missed that opportunity. Tennessee, 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 North Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina. All right, here's our first stop of the day. Mama Gertie's Hideaway Campground off in the community of Swanabobobo. I can't pronounce that word. Swanova, Swanabobo, just uh, east of Asheville uh, in some remote hill country and uh, probably about a mile off the interstate, not too bad. Exit 58, so let's check it out. Okay, I went into the office and got the okay. I don't like to trespass, but they were, whoa, that's neutral. Sitting on a hill here. They were, they were cool with it. Um, this is like, <laughs> so there's a dump station right there, but whoa most of these have sewer but some of them don't these these ones right here in the middle <coughs> i think they do have full hookup yeah whoa. pull through that's what we like we like pull through oh there's a neat airstream my aunt had an Airstream when I was a kid. It was really neat. That's a nice camper. Okay, this this is the uh, I was look. She showed me on the map. These are the way up high ones. <laughs> These all have uh, oh a dog park. Yeah, those ha that has uh... man. I'm not walking down this hill though to take Maggie for a walk. I can tell you that. Lordy mercy, this is straight up. Oh boy. Can you imagine trying to pull the camper up here? It better not be raining spending some back tires. At least they got the gritty pavement. Oh, on the way down, we'll stop and check out this swing set view. Wow. Wow, look at that. All right. This is Granny Gertie's or? Mama Gertie's. I don't know why I keep wanting to call her Granny Gertie. Okay. 
no no fire pits allowed on grass or decks so these are the pull through ones man look at this view you're way up here this that's cool there's another cool looking airstream for a view. Nice big spots too. That one's a back end. spot here we just we're staying here we're on top of the world look at this I'm gonna cut off here and get out for a second okay we got out and walking onto this deck here I guess this is the common deck for these for this row of course Lynn duck in the camera And there's our view from the from the deck. You can look way up the valley there where the interstate goes. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of seating arrangements and there's our, look how huge these sites are. Mama Gerties. This is right, right off of I-40. It just, and th here's where we pulled in just uh, east of Asheville. The, the name of the community, I can never get it right. Swapa, Swamadoba, I can't pronounce it. But uh, got a fire pit and a little grill thing to put on your fire pit. And a, yeah. And looks like there's cable, cable, water, sewer. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty nice. Maggie, get back in the back. Look what Maggie did. She said, you all left me. <laughs> get in the back, Maggie. Took Maggie for a little bit of a walk. I didn't want her to do anything on the campsite and make a mess, but she, she did do a little pee pee. Now she's got to have her drink. She gets mad if we stop and and she don't get to get out. So I guess she, she jumped in the front seat in, in anger and disgust with us. But this is our, this is a really neat place. We really like this. Nice big campsites. All right. That was the upper tier. That's, that's our deck. And nice that they got little doggy doggy stations. Oh, that's a this is a campsite right here. No. Look at those. Look at the deck. deck. Holy cow. I can't picture that stuff. These guys, look at this, these guys have their own deck. Which you saw the view from the the other deck, so you can imagine it's pretty nice. And they've got their own landscaping. Yeah. Another one here with a with their own deck and a, this must be a shower house or something or a bath, bath house or maybe it's just a maintenance house maintenance guys let's check this one out right here so this is a campsite here we're pulling into a campsite 
and of course you, your door would be pointed this way towards this deck. Let's go out and see what the view is. So where the car is is where your camper would be. And then you get out of your door and you come onto this deck that they provide for you. And there's your view. Of course, this view right here ain't as good as the one that was over there. This is more of a view of the bottom half of the campground. But I'd say when it's green, it's probably pretty. You see the, the bottom half of the campground is anything like this. This is pretty amazing. And then there's the last one on this row, which they don't have a deck. This is the turnaround. Oh no, there's the last one. We got a little back end one. All right. Well, I think we've seen the best of Mama Gertie's. The best that Mama Gertie has to offer. They've also got campsites on the back end of this little lane too, which would not be as cool as the ones over here. But this kind of looks about the size of the camper my parents just bought. The tree. All right, looking up to to the. Uh, vacant campsite we were just at with with the deck and then you come down here and you're like whoops bear bear in area not bears just one bear one bear in particular okay that was mama gertie i think mama gertie i think that was a good one i have to say i'm uh very pleasantly surprised with mama gertie and it's right in the middle, right next to Asheville. I mean, there is a ton of stuff to do right in this vicinity. So, so there is no shortage of activities of all sorts. All right, so we're going to head on out of here to the next location. Adios, Mama Gertie. We may see you again someday. All right, the name of the town is Swananoa. Swananoa. As long as we're here, we thought we'd stop at the uh, the nearby KOA and check it out. KOA Asheville East in Swananoa. They have a playground. And I don't know what that is. Sand, sandbox. Uh, so we'll just, I'm sure they don't, they don't want strangers driving around, but So nothing special here. Is there a lake? No fishing or loitering or sitting on bridge. No smiling, no laughing, no signs of any merriment permitted. And no big, big rigs. Ducks. They got their ducks in a row. <laughs> All right, there's a lake, lakeside camping. Lakeside camping at the Asheville East campground. Got a mobile home park across the lake there. The lake doesn't look too inviting, to tell you the truth. Eh, I'm not as impressed with this place. Didn't know. Oh, didn't notice that before, but there's. There was ducks sleeping underneath that picnic table where we were pulled in. Sorry guys, didn't mean to bug you.
Hey, didn't you ducks read the sign? No loitering. Somebody left their... Left a shrine there. Some painted rocks, a bone. Hope that's not a human bone. Like a femur. And some unburned wood. And it attracted these ducks. All right, that's the most interesting thing I saw at the, at the East Asheville KOA. Moving on right along. Okay, here's the campground we were looking for. Hidden Creek Camping Resort in Marion, North Carolina. This is about 25 miles east of Asheville and about 20 miles east of the uh, Swanona camping uh, campgrounds we visited a little bit earlier. So, let's see what we got here. All right, we're getting off to a good start. They got a, a huge water slide. It goes into a pool here, so that's cool. It's like they got a little miniature golf course here. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty, pretty major little, a good place for kids, huh? Not a bad place to film it, but miniature golf, playground, lake. Let's go around and look at the campsites. Okay, the, there's the lake. And uh, we're looking at a couple of campsites. The campsites are look pretty tight. You're gonna have to back in here, or we're gonna have to back in here. Uh, but I don't know if that lake goes up or if that's as big as it gets, but they got a, a inflatable floaty house. They got a playground. They got a miniature golf, they got a pool with a slide, they got a lake with paddle boats. So far so good as far as kids being occupied. Uh, campsites do have water and electric, I don't see cable. And they, this, these do have sewage, so that's good, full hookup. The campsites on this little area are pretty tight though there's another duck under our picnic table seems to be a pattern for them. cabins and that creek must be what feeds the, the lake So they got some lakefront camping. That's what I would want. If, if I was going to be here, I'd want to be right on the lake there. Like these guys are. Then you get to, they got some up, uphill uh, mountainous looking campsites up here too. Wow, th those are must be permanent. They got a permanent deck. See, they got that's some pretty good size. These are a little bit bigger than the ones down by the lake, as far as the amount of space you have on your campsite. They're back in, of course, which I prefer pull in, but I'll take I'll do back in if I have to. These must be more long term guys, they got their own decks. rent for the season or or maybe even buy it like a condo of course there's one with a deck there's one with a deck that uh, is vacant it's like they got camp campers up high too haven't seen how to get up there yet Maybe going the wrong way. 
way. <laughs> the way these vehicles, the way these campers are backed in, I think I might be going the wrong way, but I don't know. There's our old camper right there. That's our old camper, ain't it? Close to it. And there's our new camper. Except ours ain't a fifth wheel. All right, now we're going back down. Whoa! This is gonna be a rough ride on the, in the truck with the camper on the back of it. Back down by the lake. This is the one vacant lakeside pull-through campsite. It's on the little creek instead of on the lake, though. I don't see no sewer. I see electric and water, but I don't see sewer. Okay, I want to get out and just take one last look at the playground amenities and lake amenities. You got some miniature golf installations here. They got a really neat playground. And you got the lake. They got a deck out on the lake. Uh, are enjoying the lake a little bit too cold for humans but you can see the bottom so it's not too deep probably be good for swimming and for the kids to get out and splash around it would be fun so uh, I wouldn't mind having one of those lakeside ones one of those lakeside sites I don't know about going up on the hill there it seems like a lot of treacherous uh, driving <laughs> to get up and down uh, but these uh, these bottom ones by the lake would be a lot better but you can see better if I get this tree out of my way oh and they got a bouncy house too so if I was coming back I would definitely want to be on the lake and not have to climb that big hill Looks like there's an even bigger hill up there, which I couldn't find how to get there. It didn't look too hard. Didn't really want to go up there anyways. Alright, so that's that. That's Hidden Creek in Marion, North Carolina, about 25 miles east of Asheville. Oh, they got a sand, big sandbox. That's cool. Alrighty, we're going to head out. There's a little bit better view of the water slide there's and there's a pool over there and you can see there's a little ramp that you climb up to get to the top of the water slide and it empties into a little pool and then there's a bigger pool up there on the on the hill there but yeah that, that water slide would definitely be getting worn out by me if i was a kid not so much now with, with my uh big old 51 year old body but as a kid definitely all right, let's go see what else we can find around here. Uh, I should have mentioned, I just pulled out of the parking lot or the driveway of the campground. I should have mentioned this Marion campground, the Hidden Creek campground we just came out of, it's real close to that Linville Gorge and Linville Falls uh, that we did two videos earlier. It's, uh, I don't know how far it is, but the exit on the interstate says Linville Gorge, so it couldn't be that far. So that's interesting that uh, that really neat scenery and hiking area is that close to this to this campground okay this would be the anything can happen day portion of the trip we've already seen the campgrounds we came to see and now we're heading north uh, I don't even know the name of the road but we're headed north from the interstate from Marion North Carolina which should be kind of headed in the general direction of either the Tennessee or the Virginia state line the Blue Ridge Parkway Linville Falls where we came from uh, things like that. So we'll just see where this road leads us. If we keep going, we're going to come to something. Hey, we found some flowers. We stopped at a visitor center in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where we're at, but they got some pretty flowers here. 
it or anything. We went down a huge hill on Interstate 40 after we left left uh, Asheville, and now we're headed back back into the mountain country. Dowell County, North Carolina, headed towards Linville Falls. Wow, we have definitely hit the pretty scenery country. I don't know if the uh, cell phone video does it justice, but we're in really pretty country now. All right, we're on 221 North almost to Grandfather Mountain and uh, there's a wildlife viewing area ahead so we're gonna see what that is <clears throat> we didn't get to see Grandfather Mountain because it's closed but at least we saw a waterfall well our attempt to be spontaneous and go to Grandfather Mountain was thwarted by the COVID-19 so now we're going to Blowing Rock but I pulled off on this, there's a little turn off that had a little trail that led to this rock I'm standing on. And if it weren't for all these trees, it'd have a beautiful view, but. Oh well. You can see there's a little trail. Thought I'd check it out. See what's over here. And there's one down there too, but I'm not going down there. Okay, on to Blowing Rock. There's another waterfall we got to see. Okay, we have been traveling on this road to Blowing Rock for from Grandfather Mountain for quite a while. And as far as I can tell, up above us is the Blue Ridge Parkway and we're down below the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're basically following the same route as the Blue Ridge Parkway, except we're down below. So they're getting the up high view and we're getting the down low view. Uh, so that if you can see up ahead of us there, that ridge, that's where the Blue Ridge Parkway is. So it's still it's still been interesting down here. Uh, the view would have been a lot better up there, but down here we have seen some real interesting little waterfalls. It's uh, Unfortunately, it's not possible to video everything we're going through because this is really... Uh, a rough road with uh, a lot of cutbacks. Whoa! With a lot of cutbacks and uh, hairpin turns. But uh, we're gonna we're almost to Blowing Rock, so we're gonna see what that is. A little disappointed about not getting to go to Grandfather Mountain, but you gotta have reservations apparently. Which how would I know that? I would have I would never would have thought you have to have reservations to go to. Grandfather Mountain, but uh, they were sold out. So when we get to Blowing Rock, we'll we'll see what we'll show you what we're seeing. Well, about a minute after I signed off on that last little uh, excursion, we kind of came out of the heart the the hairpin area and came across this Eastern Continental Divide, 3,900 feet. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, didn't expect to see that. So we're at a the Eastern Continental Divide, which I guess means any anything that falls on one side, any water that falls on one side drains in the Atlantic Ocean, and any water that, that falls on the other side drains in the Gulf of Mexico. Is that what that means? I don't know what, I, I might be wrong. But uh, anyways, I wanted to stop and, and show that sign, show where we're at. I really even couldn't tell you what road we're on right now. Uh, we're on the road to Boone and and Blowing Rock. All right, we uh, we made it to Blowing Rock, and we're trying to figure out what there is to see here besides quaint shops and bars and stuff. I thought there might have been a park or something with an actual big rock. That's what Lynn told me, anyways. Lynn said there was a rock. It blows. 
throw your hat out and it blows the hat back at you. That was her exact words. But this is this is uh, downtown Blowing Rock. They got a mellow mushroom here. And uh, just kind of a quaint resort town type stuff. So let's let's just take a ride through the through the downtown and see what we see. Alright, going back through Blowing Rock again. The, the rock is closed? Yes, I told you this one. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh. The actual ro Boeing rock is closed. She's got, she showed me a picture. There's Stoneman's Raid sign. Well, there's an actual park over there. Stoneman's Raid, made famous in the song The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down by the band. And there's a memorial to it over there. Okay, so we're 0 for 2 on parks. Grandfather's Park, Grandfather's Mountain closed. Blowing Rock closed. Wonder if uh, Boone is open. <laughs> Maybe Boone is closed. See, I was beginning to wonder if Lynn was daydreaming or having a I had dreamt this whole thing, but there is an actual Blowing Rock location. So it's closed right now, but we're going to drive up here and see how far we can get. Wow, look at that view. We just turned into the Blowing Rock driveway area. Okay, here's the Blowing Rock place. Closes at 5. It's 512, if you can believe that. So we blew it. Uh, but apparently, you go in there, and it takes you out to where you can be on the blowing rock. They sure got it where you sh can't see it unless you go through there. And uh, so Lynn wasn't crazy after all. She kept saying that she went with her dad, and there was a place where you could throw stuff out from a rock, and it would blow it back onto you. Apparently, maybe somebody fell off one time and the wind blew him back on. That's where it got its name. So we found it and it was closed. But that's what these trips are about sometimes. It's a, it's a recon mission. We didn't know what we were doing. We didn't have no plan. We just, uh, do that scenery on the side as we leave the Blowing Rock parking lot. We didn't have no plan. We didn't know what we were doing. We found out Grandfather Mountain is by reservation only, and we found out Blowing Rock closes at 5, so <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Uh, it was interesting to, to see anyways. Anywho, now we're back. going, going to go back uh, to Boone, or go to Boone. The reason why we're going to Boone is that's the way to get home. Uh, US 421 which, uh, if you'll recall from an earlier video, and this darn t car is yelling at me now because I don't have my seatbelt on. Hold on for a second. Okay, Lynn found the Legend of the Blowing Rock. <coughs> Excuse me. The Legend of the Blowing Rock is that a Cherokee brave leapt from the rock into the wilderness below only to have a gust of wind return him to his lover on top of the rock. This is a typical example of Lover's Leap legend. Blowing Rock is a private property a fee for access is payable at the adjacent souvenir shop, which is what we just saw. Okay. Uh, anyways, as I was saying before, you may recall from a, an earlier It's Anything Can Happen day when we went to see the sheep and the chickens in uh, Hilton's, Virginia, where, uh, what is that place called? The stage? Carter Fold. Carter Fold. Uh, US 421 is there, and it goes to Bristol. Well, it also goes through Boone, North Carolina, and then, then to Bristol, and so that's the way home, basically. So we're going to go to Boone, and that'll be the way home. And if we see anything else interesting, we'll stop and shoot it. Okay, well, there's a regular highway that takes us to Boone, or we could just go ahead and get back on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So I so, decided, so what the heck, let's just get back on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I've never been on this part of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, Do you know which way to go? I assume it's... 
north. This one says wrapped. It probably wants you to get back. Back the way I told you to go to start with. Let's see what it says here. Jeffrey's Park Road. Nope. Maybe I am going the wrong way. Alright, we'll find out. Okay, as it turns out, we were going the right way. Long way it's a long way around. Instead of being six minutes from Boone, we're now 20 minutes from Boone. Of course, if we stop at every overlook like I just did, it'll be more than 20 minutes. But I thought, what the heck? We haven't saw any really good scenery today. And look at this. This is amazing. I hope the phone is doing it justice in our dirty windshield. Let me get out of the car real quick. Territory for us, we've never been this far north on the Blue Ridge Parkway. That Linville Falls that we a couple weeks ago when we went to the Linville Gorge and, and it was uh it was closed. That's as far north as we'd ever been on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So now we're in between Blowing Rock and and uh, Boone, and we're only going to Boone. But uh, we just thought it would be fun to Look at the look at the views, and rather than taking the regular old highway. So, if we see something pretty, we'll stop and look at it. I prefer the view, views where I don't have to get out of the car. Like that. <laughs> it's on the driver's side. Don't have to get out of the car. All right, I have to make an observation about the Blue Ridge Parkway north of. Blowing Rock, it's not as pretty as the Asheville area because it's all developed. I guess that's because it's flatter over here. At the Blue Ridge in, in uh, Asheville and Cherokee, it's like at the top of a ridge, so you can't really build a house there. But there's subdivisions and everything around here. Farms and, like, I'm, I'm shocked. I've never been on a section of the Blue Ridge Parkway that was, like, developed with residential neighborhoods. So, it's still pretty, but it's not the same. Yeah, that's, I just saw a sign on is that, that road that's running parallel to us. That's 421. So that's the road we'll be taking back to, uh, to the Tri-Cities area when we get to Boone. But we're 10 minutes from Boone, according to MapQuest. But that's, that's US 421. I believe it goes from um, Wilmington, North Carolina, to somewhere uh, around Chicago and beyond. So you can see what I'm talking about. This is this is the Blue Ridge Parkway, but it's like there's a house over there, and there's a highway. There's a U.S. highway that traverses the whole country, and we're running parallel with the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'm just surprised that. I should have known. I guess that's like common knowledge to some people, but to me, I, having never been over here before, it's surprising. All right, we're in Boone. We're on 421. We're not going to go through the uh, downtown area. We're just going to head home. 421 takes you, takes us to Elizabethton, which is close to Johnson City, and back onto I-26 and back home. So. We got about an hour and a half ride, I think, if, uh, if my math is correct. We've been to Boone before. Uh, my alma mater, Southern Illinois University, played Appalachian State in a uh, Division II football playoff. I think that's the hotel we stayed at, as a matter of fact, right there. But uh, in a Division II uh, playoff game one time, and we may go through downtown. I might have no choice. But uh, they got murdered, and it was freezing cold. Uh, it was, it was, I mean, we enjoyed it. It was an experience, but it was uh, not, the, the outcome wasn't what we'd hoped for. So anyways, we are 
going through Boone. We're on our way home. I don't think we'll, there'll be anything else for us to, to look at or report. It's getting late. So we'll just go ahead and sign off. Just to recap, we saw a couple of interesting campgrounds. Uh, we uh, struck out on our attempt to go to Grandfather Mountain and we struck it on our attempt to go to Blowing Rock. So, <laughs> uh, two strikeouts and two campgrounds. Uh, not a bad day. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, this is Anything Can Happen Day and we'll see you next time.